This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow me back here with another episode of AI The Somnium Files. In the last episode, we gave into the delusion of Iris and saved her, for now, anyway. So now we're just trying to figure out where to find uh, Renju and trying to solve this case, man. We've I feel like we've been going around in circles and not really solving the main thing. We keep getting wrapped up in the new situations, but you know, if we calm down, just take it one step at a time, maybe we'll figure it out. So let's let's check out our destinations and see if we can find something new, because Renju said he was spotted at the park the day of the murder, so let's see. Perhaps we missed something, even though we've been here twice. But sure, maybe we missed something, who knows? You know? Life is weird, you know, Bloom Park, Tuesday. But we know Dante sucks as a detective. I took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. Every inch. If you know what I mean. What's with the creepy music? There's nothing here. Guess not. Why did Renju come here on Friday night? Hmm. Was it to place Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Renju is my friend. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I've thought over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. Iris suddenly snapped me out of it. Want to race, Dante? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. We're trying to solve a murder you want here. To challenge me? Well, sure. Ugh. Yeah, let's do it. We'll start here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round. Right. I don't know. I think we have more Line important things to, to do. Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I have no choice. I lined up next to Iris. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go! I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. A second after the race had started, I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. Should've just clotheslined her. Mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. That's what Iris told me three days ago. Horus's left eye is the eye of Wadjet. Does that have any relation to the Wadjet with the Wadjet system? Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. I mean, the Six monster. years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. I used to call him Uncle. The man from Uncle. Oh yeah, didn't he come up with Aset too? Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology, too. Ugh. No one cares. No, I'm sorry. Uh, let's check everything out before we touch her. There you go around. There's a hole in it from all the years of weathering. Weathering or weathering. Doesn't matter. Friday I found Mizuki inside the central column. Oh, yeah. Remember when we were still going over the Shoko murder? Dante, why are you staring at the pole? I mean, I am a good dancer, but... I've never pole danced. I... Was not expecting that reaction. I've heard it's good exercise. But I'm serious. Anywho, <laughs> uh, what, a skewed horse. Merry ground, skewed horse. Looks pathetic. What a loser. Holographic caution tape. Yep, that's the same. Oh, fence, fence. I saw the fence there. Fence. You got my fence or a rent? Fence around the merry go round. Oh, well then, yeah, whatever. I always try to hard, find the hard. It seems like I always try to find the hardest things to, hardest version of the things to click on when I could have found the easier version. Pearsall, uh, bench, and a do. Oh, cityscape, cityscape. 
It's in the distance. The sky. The sun, the sky, the moon, the, the stars. All around us. Nope. Right there, there. Nope. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, that is all on the ground. I guess that's it. It's been a while since we got a trophy for any checking things. I guess we're not on the comedic path anymore or something. Although it seems like we're on a comedic path altogether. Iris is sitting at my, my side. But though I watch it. Horace's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle? Osiris's little brother is Set, and his son is Horus. This Set was an awful guy. One day he tricked and killed Osiris by trapping him in a coffin. So naturally, Horus didn't take that well. Drax, I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Ugh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war. And so, a bloody war broke out, just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They would disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. So, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. Yeah, mythologies are weird like that, uh, Date, and that's not even the strangest ones. There's quite a few out there that are very odd indeed. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, her describing like mythology, just the way she's talking about it sounds like a, f a fifth grader explaining something they just found out, but in the simplest of terms, and you're like, okay, can I get an English professor to tell me instead? Or, or sorry, a, a professor of mythology to tell me instead or something like that, or get a J.R. Tolkien to tell us? Because he was a he was a professor and he studied like mythology and history and stuff like that. Man, it was awesome. Anyway, let's see, keep asking about the eye. In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Wee Wee. I believe she is referring to a male. Wait, why are you asking me? But Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. All right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Thoth! Okay, here it goes! Moon healing power! Ring, ring, ring! Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in! Zoom! Click! Horus got his eye back! Uh, what? 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 Was she talking? I kind of fell asleep during that. Seriously, though, it's like... I don't know, man. It's just... I think this is supposed to be charming... But it's not. It's, like, annoying. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, we get it. You you talk like a teenager when describing things. You can't say things normally. I get it. Ugh. Can we can we, go, can we get on with it, please? Um, anyway, sorry. I'm just being an old man. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing and revered as a sacred icon. By the power of the moon, I shall... I shall... Was it destroy you, or... Or save you. I forgot what Sailor Moon always said. And I forgot to mention during her uh, other story, and now I remember what I was going to say. It's like, boys have a paneer and girls have a vagina. So that's anyway, the eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the eye of Providence. Yes. And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. That's very specific. Then again, we name a lot of our stuff out of, like, mythology. Like a lot of uh, U.S. space programs, and the fact we name all of our um, the the all the spheres and the galaxy after Greek gods, so why not, right? Why not name something after some random Egyptian story? So, how'd you get so fast? I thought, you know, for a second I thought it said, "How'd you get so fat?" I'm like, we have different standards of what fat is, you know. I told you yesterday, I love moving around. 
and I especially love dancing. But hmm? about three months ago, Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. But during your live stream... She was dancing. Because I was... sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me, like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Doesn't that mean they're not actual fans if they hate you for stop dancing or not dancing as much? And you should like expand your repertoire of abilities, you know. Most musicians don't even don't even know how to like sing or play an instrument or by vice versa. They either do one or the other. And it's just ugh, got a lot of a lot of people that are considered musicians aren't like are egotistical, hollow, you know. And uh, never mind. I, I don't want to get into the problems with the music industry right now. Horace's mom is named Isis, but in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Isa or Asa. Hmm. How do I explain this? I don't know why, just the fact that she knows all this random information almost seems like it's ham-fisted. Like, not an actual... Like, I'm not saying she couldn't have learned this, it just... You know, when she tells us how she learned, it just seems... It doesn't seem natural, you know? I don't know, maybe it's the writing, or maybe it's the voice actress, or something. I'm just... I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just being crotchety today. Maybe that's it. I told you about Horace's dad, Osiris. His mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. That's what I told you earlier, but there's more to it. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it in the river. Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her, because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. If that's how it's gonna be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shh! And so, Osiris was revived! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. I've watched Full Metal Alchemist. I know what happens when you revive people from the dead that aren't supposed to be revived. Uh, it leads to bad things, my friend. I think I get the picture. But what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. Her uncle sounds like a creep to me. Summarize it for me. Isis, Aset, Egyptian goddess girl. Hmm. In the end, we didn't find any new information or rent you. Almost like this place was worthless. But I'm not too upset. Are you? This is what a criminal investigation is about. Nah, I guess that's true. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, the problem with this place is we had to spend time with Iris. Ugh. Anyway, let's go see Yoda. Let's tell him we've been hanging out with Iris so he can get all totally jelly. Even though I don't care about her in the slightest, but uh, you know, it's fun to it's fun to mess with other people. Oda and Mizuki were both in the diner. Nice at loss. I see. It's not impossible. Oda spoke softly to himself, but carrying a big stick. I mean, looking deep in thought. Back again to the the exploration of anything that's brand new or nothing new at all. Beer. Hey, Tessa, can you stack up those beer cases and stand on top? Then I can get on the floor and, um... He can't be serious. I mean, with those shorts, he wouldn't really be able to see much anyway. 
I mean, she doesn't look like she has anything. She doesn't have a pronounced behind, so. Which is the worst kind of behind? Beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. A long time ago. Oh, wait, that's the wrong game. Menus. Windows. Meow? Meow. What are you doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Oh, I see. I thought Mizuki was going to tell them they were idiots and that that would like end the joke or something like that. And everyone would go, oh. <laughs> well, there goes my my dreams dashed upon the rocks Salt, like baby seals. Pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices and an unidentified liquid. Well rested Mayumi juice. I think that's different from the previous ones. You know, we can't figure it out. Kuroda Kazuaki's liver with anchovy stir fry. I still think it's Szechuan sauce, but you know, what do I know? Hey, Date, do you want this poster? No, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. Hey, you know, whatever he does in his free time is fine, so don't be throwing away his smut. Seriously, don't throw away people's smut. That's not cool. Hey, Date, I've got this video of a girl in a white shirt under a waterfall. Want to watch? Absolutely not. Well, later. We'll watch it later. That's a classic, you know. The white shirt being wet routine gets him every time. <clears throat> anyway. Is that chair comfortable, Tessa? If it's not, you can sit on my back. This man will stop at nothing. I was almost expecting him there to say something about step on me and call me scum or something like that. And be like, whoa, all right. Now we know. <laughs> I have Masanori's autograph too, from Shinsen Chatran. Masanori was here? He knows about this place? It was from a long time ago. They're just spouting out gibberish when they talk these names. I have no idea what they're talking about. Are they actual celebrities or are they just in-world celebrities? Or are they like only Japanese celebrities? Or I don't know. You guys want to put some water in that bucket and swing it around? Um, Tessa, please not in the store. Yeah, I even saw, you even see his like a little reaction when, when she says that. He's like, oh, my eyes. Uh, no, no it's, uh, okay. Counter, cross counter. I think we might have found most of the stuff other than, oh, picture. Of course, nothing for that. Phone, stool, door. Uh, that low table, cushion. Can't check the shoes for some reason. Kid seat. Do you need to sit down, Mizuki? Do you want me to crush your tailbone so you'll never be able to sit down again, Date? You need you need like mental help, dude. Like that is some unwarranted aggression. Like I'm, I'm gonna get you sci uh, psychological counseling like for Christmas, because that is not healthy at all. That is not a cool. And yeah, wrong calendar. Repeats itself. What is two arms and a face but no eyes? Hmm. Buddha. What the? Like the Buddha. He doesn't have eyes? Have you seen his eyes? But he's not blind. No, of course not. He sees all. I didn't expect a Mizuki to be a Buddhist. Who knew? Um... Okay, yeah, I guess we're... Alright, we're done with all that. Oda looks serious. He looks serious. Mizuki looks serious. Iris looks serious. I mean, she's trembling. Are you cold? Oh, yeah, you've got Iris, a tumor. So. Cold. You okay? Yeah, fine. I just get cold easily. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. Not conditions often considered cold. I think the game consider. I think almost considers you choosing the uh, uh, help her option first, like as a first time playthrough. 
um, which I guess most people would, but unfortunately, like they, I am not like most people, so I'm, I'm contradictory in nature. So I was obviously chose the not the best option in the first place to see the reaction, and boom, we found out that she's got she has a tumor and a tumor and a tumor. She's got a tumor, a tumor, and a tumor, but we don't know about that yet, so we can't say anything yet. So that sucks. Mizuki is like a cute little sister, and. And my favorite friend. I like her a lot. How much? About three universes worth. But just three universes? What about 271,828,182,845 universes? Well, I like you double that. Hey, no fair. I think we're gonna get sick. Oh, just like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. He's really important to me. I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. What is this indescribable feeling of loss? I mean, three Earths is pretty big, but. Nice, nice. Looks like you got friend zone slash brothered, you know. When a when a when a girl says you're like like a brother or a father she had, prepare to have those dreams dashed upon the rocks that from whence you came. Why are you here? Go go jump in a trash can somewhere. Date, can I Oda gestured and walked over to the corner of the room. Oh, good, we're being taught to in the corner again. I quietly stood up and followed. Now what? Now what's, she, what's her problem? Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances. Date, can I... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaids' houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. I had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. You should try to understand how she feels. Okay, one, she needs to treat me better. Don't treat me like crap. Otherwise, I'll treat her better. So there's that right there. Two, I'm trying to solve a mystery here. Come on, for God's sakes. Get over yourself. We need, This is more important than your, oh, I have problems. My mother got murdered. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Uh, though it is a little annoying, you know. And Pip, uh, you say you'll you'll give me an ear feel. I'd like uh, ear earful. I'd like to see you try Pip squeak. But anyway, sorry. You know who her father is. If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Is he the culprit? Did he really kill mom? Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. And he called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious. But... But... I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in daddy. Oh, also another answer to other question. I'm not her dad. Shut up. Anyway, sorry. I just had to get it off my chest. Just pointing out a lot of the, I don't know if I'd say inconsistencies, but like all the, all these, like just all the stuff they're trying to shove on me. And I'm like, you're not even thinking things through. Y'all are too emotional. You need to be more rational. Anyway, about Iris. Who is Iris to me? A friend, a big sister, and I kind of envy her. No, stop it. It's true though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> Don't fan the flames of her ego. It's already her head is huge. 
Anyway, let's talk to someone. Oh, I was about to say reasonable, but never mind. You have your own set of problems. Where's your mom? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. Maybe she'd be more reasonable than hanging out with... Because all these people are technically kids when you think about it. He's 24, but he's a kid. She's 12. She's a kid. She's 18, uh, 18 or 19 or whatever. She's still a kid. They're all kids. I need some adults to talk to. Where's Boss? I don't care if she's working for this group. I want to talk to Boss again. I miss her. She was reasonable and hot. Tessa is my hopes and dreams, my peace and my life, my light, my star, my sun, my goddess. She's like the laws of the universe itself, the embodiment of beauty. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow, a guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. That makes me happy. God, why don't you simp harder, dude? Holy cow. I've heard of them. Nizetlos, or Nize, is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. They sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades. But some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. That seems a bit uh, far-fetched, don't you think? Didn't just saying this out loud make you think, Hey, this is stupid. But anyway. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Well, perhaps it's Wiley Coyote. Or its connections to Nice. Iris found out which is why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. I'm with Iba on this one. I, we know perfectly well that this is delusions of a tumor brain. Summarize it for me, right, Sip Man. Let's get going. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? I'll come help right away. Me too. I'll save you no matter what, Iris. Thank you both. Promise me. I promise. Uh, the hearts of children. Am I right, folks? Well, they say the hearts of children are either the most honest or the cruelest out of all of them. And, and, you know. Anywho, let's go to the Sage of Residence and go bother us a politician. Ooh, boy. I love it. Too bad we can't do that in real life on a regular basis. Man, I'd love to bu bu bug the crap out of politicians, especially the ones I don't like. Which is most of them. About 99% of them. And that's any country. Doesn't matter who it's from. They're all the same. I know not all of them are the same. I'm just generalizing. But uh, but a lot of them end up becoming the same in the, the grand scheme of things. There's no one in the garden. So must be inside. Wait. I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. I should look around? Why don't you just tell me where it is? You can apparently, like, see, or uh, detect things. Anyway. Where's the life signal coming from? It's coming from the trees! I speak for the trees! No one is inside. Hmm. If you say so. I don't know if I believe you. No one inside, then... Giant green blob. That's a plant. It's a plant. Sorry. If I'm not reading every single description now. It's a garden lantern. I said Garden Lantern, not Harden Lanyard. I'm aware of that. I still don't get what the this whole word joke is. I guess it's just they're saying it wrong on purpose, or I don't know. 
Like I said, I, I just... It, it's, it's like... I think it's just a translation issue. Like, they're directly translating it, I think. I hope. I've heard there's been some issues in the translating community when it comes to certain games that they've been not translating it as close to the original source as they could. I think you should translate it to the point where if you're translating in a specific language, it needs to be close to, like, what the intended language is supposed to be. Because, obviously, English and Japanese, for example, are two different languages. So, it obviously makes sense that, you know, you can't use the same word for both and get the same reaction. Small island is Kojima in Japanese. The director Kojima? He's here? It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him. But he's not there. Well, this is the same guy who made the Metal Gear franchise in a game about a relegated delivery man. Oh, yeah, it's not it's not Kojima, sorry. Yeah, he's off doing weird, weird outdoor things somewhere else. Is and that Bridge. Mr. Bridges? Who? Dude, I don't know, man. You're the dude, man. Or you're you're Mr. Lebowski. I'm just the dude. I assume that's the reference, but I could be wrong. Um well, just, just, you know. They make a lot of references. To, well, it's probably the translators in that case. I don't know what the Japanese version is. But anyway, I was talking about how, like, translators have been possibly putting in a lot of their own mentality into their translations instead of what the actual work meant for you to say. And if that's the case, I mean, I couldn't tell you which games do that, but I've heard that's the case. And I would be like, well, then you shouldn't be a translator if you're putting your own personal feelings into something like that. Because that's, I would say that's ruining the art. I mean, whether I like these games or not, I still consider games to be an art form in, in some sense. But anyway, let's... Is that, a, is that Iris's mom? Hmm. There's a veranda. It looks like a rest area. Let's zoom in and peek on the lovers. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It's a Totomi and So. What are they doing there? Are they having an affair? I do not know. But uh, I guess we'll find out next time on the next episode of AI The Somnium Files. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.